Right, where were I, where was I up to before I got so rudely interrupted? Um, let's go through the HGC TouchFlow 3D system. On the home screen here, we've got the um, clock, which gives us access into our alarm and our calendar, and uh, it can change the times. I can have a look at my call history. Not many people called so far. And who, who's called me? Who, who have I called? Which um, calls have I missed? Have a look at my calendar. See what appointments I've got coming up. On this rather huge screen. I can change that to a smaller clock if I don't like that bigger one. Or the bigger one again. Very nice silky animation on this. Uh, I can hop straight into the phone down here. Make a phone call. Or a video call as you can see here. And I haven't got 3G at the minute. Um, we can go on to people, which is the next tab along. And I can flick through the people that I've got here. Add some new person in here. Uh, let's create somebody. New contact. Nice big keyboard pops up here. So I'll put the name in. Let's call them Sid. So it's one, two, one, two, Sid. And uh, their phone number is da da do 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 do, and I'll just um, okay that. Uh, notice I haven't given Sid a photo, but I'll select him anyway, and we get one of these um, picture selection things. So I'm going to choose uh, this picture here. I've got some, and then I can flick through pictures of the people. And then on the right hand side here we can scroll through the people uh, if you've got a big long list of people that will scoot off the screen and it's a very easy way to find um, certain contacts I can go there dial up person straight away with a one button click I can um, I can go to my messages here and if I had any I could see them on that screen and flick up and down um, between the messages I can compose a message using the keyboard that we've just seen as you can see we've got Wi-Fi on the top here uh, we can go into uh, email here again similar sort of setup to the text messages you've got an inbox you can go compose an email and uh, set up pop or exchange servers on there we've got the browser and the YouTube application along with a big long list of your favorites which you can add in yourself um, stocks and shares if you've got any stocks you can add them in here do a search for your uh, favorite stock or uh, whatever you've got um, shares in and you can track that and it'll show you a nice graphic on the screen of uh, how it's doing and how rich or how poor you are um, let's go back to the home and then you can go into Photos and videos, which uh, lets you flick through your pictures like that. Very, very silky. And you can click on them and then tilt it around. And that, believe me, is really nice to look at that picture quality. Um, and you can take a picture relatively easy here and video as well we can go into music play some tunes if I press play properly we can flick between the albums and it'll, it'll also start the album we can um, scoot to a certain section of the video um, of the audio like that and go into the weather application while that music's playing and we can see that it's going to be raining in Tokyo so we've got our windscreen wiper very nice settings we can go in here change our sound wallpaper comms turn the Wi-Fi on or off and then here's a program screen where we can go into Google Maps And we can use 
a GPS to find out where we are. And it'll seek at the GPS satellites and find out roughly where we are. So that is a quick look at the HTC TouchFlow system in this HTC Touch HD handset. You've also got an RSS reader which I'll just show you here. Welcome to the RSS hub. It's got some predefined um, channels in there. BBC News, da, da 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 you can choose. So let's have the BBC News and click Finish. And then we can click that, and we can get the latest news from uh, the BBC. And uh, let's have a look at um, uh, I don't know Gordon Brown's G20 route map. And then you can click on here, read more online, and that load uh, the Opera browser, which we may as well have a look at as well. And it will open up the appropriate link at um, the website that you've chosen so in this case it's the BBC's website and that will load up at the moment I'm connected via Wi-Fi at the top there now we can zoom in and it will move the text as you can see so that I can see it all in one screen one very massive screen we can adjust the zoom here which is very useful yeah and again it will change the text so if I think that's a bit too big for me let's just zoom that down and the text gets smaller here which is really nice what we can also do of course with the tilt sensor that we've just seen is turn the screen around like this and it will um, move the text around to fit we've also got if you want to put a web address in um, let's type up here and we get this very good keyboard down the bottom here which is very easy to use with your two thumbs and you can type away a web address so if I try doing this for you here There we go, so we've got uh, call cool smartphones come up now. I've noticed a few little things with the Opera browser, which it's fantastic to be able to do this, to flip the screen around. And you can see the orientation changes relatively quick. It does take slightly longer at times. One thing I've noticed here, if you've got the keyboard open um, on this orientation, if you try and flick it round, it will completely and utterly ignore you until you close down the keyboard screen, which is a a little bit strange and you'll notice in a lot of programs that um, it's you really want that screen orientation switch to happen every single time you do that especially in programs like Word etc um, but yeah it's very easy to browse with Opera I must say you can glide around the page quite easily like that and you can browse the page as if you were on your normal computer it's really not that much difference apart from the odd flash file which just doesn't render properly but it's very very nice to browse around pages like that and to be able to look at the page just as you would do in your normal um, computer